wonderful cat Whenever he gets in a fix, he reaches into his bag of tricks. Felix the cat, the wonderful, wonderful cat. You laugh so much, your sides will ache, your heart will go pit a pad. Watch and Felix the wonderful cat. Well, I'm off to the theater. You two stay at home and get to bed early. Er, uh, Uncle, remember that clever Martian chap, Martin? Yes, yes. What about it? Couldn't we bring him to Earth on a student exchange program or something? No! Look out, Professor! Felix, keep your infernal bag out of the way. It is dangerous. Sorry, Professor. By the way, Mr. Felix, what is in that bag? What is in it? Why, it's my magic bag. Magic bag? <laughs> Magic is just so much foof. Foosh? Huh. Do you want to know what my magic bag can do? I'm listening. Well, there was the time when I needed a submarine to go under the North Pole. So, I took my magic bag and presto, a submarine. A very remarkable bag, Mr. Felix. Thanks. And now get ready for bed. Okay, Mr. Felix. I'll be in later and read you a bedtime story. wonder how this bag works. Hmm, vibration rate, 795. Compression index, 9 times plus 400. I got it. Easy does it. There, a magic doorway to Mars. Ah, I must have dozed off. I'd better check on Poindexter. Huh? My magic bag! It's gone! Why, that little rascal! I'll show him! Huh? Poindexter! Poindexter, wait! A doorway, but where does it lead to? Mr. Felix, watch. The master cylinder is gone. This is just an empty shell. So he's gone. But what are you doing here? I came to find my pal, Martin the Martian. Martin the Martian? <laughs> Did I hear my name mentioned? Martin! That fourth dimensional space capsule is a nice gadget, Martin. Yes. It'll take you any place 
in no time at all. And this time, I've got you all. The Master Cylinder. What happened, Mr. Cylinder? You've shrunk. Not shrunk. Condensed. I've converted my body to a more convenient all-transistor model. And you, Martin, what have you got there? Why, er, uh, it is, er, uh, you wouldn't understand. Nonsense! Bring it here! Okay, master. You asked for it. Where did he go? I sent him up to the Crab Nebula. And we had better travel, too, through the magic doorway back to Earth. So long, Martin, and thanks. Goodbye, fellas. See you soon. Goodbye, Martin. It's about time. And where have you been? Through that door, Uncle. Huh. Where did this come from? Professor, stop! Let me out! Let me out! Okay, all 